Good morning, everyone. Uh, so really, it's my uh, honor and pleasure to present uh, this uh, short video within uh, such really a great Congress. And um, really, my appreciation to all um, the organizing committee for inviting me, uh, as well as the um, Earth Society for including my video within this session. So I'm going to speak uh, today about management of duodenal viruses. Really, uh, do we need to have a new tool or not? So ectopic viruses is uncommon. However, it uh, accommodates up to 5% of variceal bleeding. 17% of this ectopic viruses occurs due to duodenal viruses. So the representation of a duodenal viruses bleeding is either uh, hematemesis or melina uh, or even um, fresh bleeding per actin. So till date, no guidelines in the management of such extreme rare condition. A lot of uh, literature um, tested the idea of endoscopic mad ligation, sclerotherapy, uh, also intervention radiology, as well as surgery. So what I'm going to show today, uh, it's uh, the usage of one of the hemostatic powders to manage acute duodenal variceal bleeding. So as you all know, this is the one of the very common hemostatic powder, the hemospray. And as you can see in this picture, when the hemospray is applied over any bleeding site, it will absorb water and to change to a foam-like structure that acts as a mechanical barrier over the bleeding site. It stays in position up to 12 hours and then it will be eliminated uh, through the GI tract. So, uh, um, first of all, uh, hemospray was tested in acute non variceal bleeding. Uh, this is one of the recent study on 191 patients as a re rescue therapy with primary hemostasis more than 90%. As well as, we have tested the, the hemospray in variceal bleeding in this randomized control trial, which had been uh, published in GUT a couple of years ago. Uh, the idea that was not to replace any of the standard of care. However, to put the hemospray at two hours of admission just before uh, the, the, the standard of care endoscopic treatment. And we have shown in this, uh, in this study significant difference uh, in a composite in the point of endoscopic and clinical hemostasis uh, at 24 hours as well as 60, six weeks. Uh, this study was not powered for uh, survival. However, also we have shown different, significant difference in survival uh, regarding the hemospray group versus the, uh, the standard of care group. So this is an example of, uh, of, the, of the technique. This is a bleeding duodenal viruses. So as I always say, we, we are not treating the virus itself, but we are treating the bleeding condition. So you can see here, this is a, a bleeding duodenal viruses. We cannot really identify the source of the bleeding. And uh, we just uh, apply the hemostatic powder all over uh, the, 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 the viruses. And then 24 hours later, you will see the viruses still there but in a clean condition, which can be treated in this clean condition with either cyanoacrylate injection or even, or even a beta blocker and follow up. So um, as I always say, uh, the hemospray is a very powerful tool to change the patient condition from the acute bleeder to a patient with pathology that can be treated in a very clean condition. Thank you very much.